Morning. Well, it's another lovely morning at Sunshine Park. There's a bit of nip in the air, but it is quarter to eight in the morning. But lovely blue skies. I've just done the uh, morning chores, <coughs> empty the toilet cassette and put the rubbish away. Okay, up there is uh, that leads up to the uh, the campsite's owner's house, which is Obi and Anita. Absolutely brilliant couple, really really friendly and very hospitable. All right, there you obviously have the uh, muck out area, recycling bins, uh, water point. There is a grey area, waste disposal just here, but um, to be quite honest, they said that if, you, uh, if you've only got a small amount, rather than bring the motorhomes down to here, they put it around the trees and into the, into the side area. That's the orchard. Here is the, uh, the plant area, or the garden, as they call it, with chilies and uh, other stuff there. I think there's some cabbages and stuff growing as well, but I'm not exactly sure what's going on in there. Bradley mentioned before, here's the well. Don't know how old or how deep it is, but hey. A couple of uh, motorhomes turned up yesterday. Now we've got in total about one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, about eleven. About eleven in total. And I do believe that there, there will be a few more coming before the uh, end of the month. Apparently, when the um, lockdown happened early this year there was quite a few about 20 23 vans in motorhomes here and they um, from what I can gather they had a bit of a good time they have got a Facebook page Sunshine Park um, and the pictures look quite good <laughs> I think it was a lot of partying going on by the sounds of it and from what I can gather Christmas here is going to be quite exceptional. I know um, Anita's going to be laying on um, a lot of food and and stuff. They've got a Christmas tree and lights and whatever. Obi's going to. Well, I was talking last night about digging a big fire pit so everybody can have a, a bit of a sit around and whatever. So that should be good. They're very friendly here, very, very friendly. It's out of the way, so nobody gets bothered. Um, Facility-wise, yep, yeah, spot on, actually good, but there's no toilets or showers, so obviously we use our own, um, use our own stuff. But hey, who cares? It's such a really, really friendly atmosphere, it's brilliant. <coughs> Got a little pool. Obviously it's a bit a bit too cold now to use it, although Brad has been in a few times. I think he went in yesterday. Got a little seating area. A little marquee and a barbecue area. All the hookups with water. There's ours, but it's a bit of a mess at the moment. We had a, a bit of a, a gathering last night. Everybody was uh, 
Well, we were just sitting down talking, a couple of us. And uh, everybody just grabbed a chair and, from their homes and vans and, and come over. We had one of the guys brought his um, wood burner over. We lit that and uh, yeah, all we thought was a, a good evening. A few beers, lots of talking, larking about, joking. But, uh, yeah. Sit down. Sit down. Sit down. You've had your watch. You've had your pillow. No, no, stay away from him. I'm sorry. You've had a shower. You've seen the advertisement. Lie down. Lie down. I've got a shower. Every day, straight off. Do all of it. Oh, you're such a bad boy. Yeah. All good fun. All good fun. All good fun. Now there's a little bit of a, <coughs> a hoo-ha going on over here. Not so much Portugal at the moment, but all over Spain from what we can gather. Um, people being moved on, the police finding people left, right and centre. Wild camping apparently is a big no-no now. Um, and if you get caught camp wild camping, been told it's about a 250 euro fine on the spot not good not good um, and as a lot of people are not going out the police have got more freedom to uh, to pick on motorhomes campers and whatever so uh, yeah uh, one of the guys over there Kevin he came from Mercia a few days ago um, and he said it's getting it's getting quite bad in Spain Portugal at the moment isn't too bad, although they're on a high alert, um, you can still move around. I think this weekend Martin was saying that um, they're locking down different provinces and areas, so this comes under Faro, and if you go into the, so you can't move without, uh, sorry, outside of that area come the weekend. So I think it's Almansil is the next province. Uh, you have to stay in, in Faro. You can't go into the other province. So, but uh, I think it's only for the weekend or for a week or something. But you got all the facilities, obviously uh, around the uh, the park. There's a big, um, I would say, shopping centre. You've got a, a, a big supermarket about 6k down the road there's um, a big Primark and an Ikea literally about eight kilometers away uh, you've got McDonald's and, and other things and the main town which is also about 8k away so not too bad it's a petrol station literally just about five minutes away walking two three minutes in the car uh, the wi-fi here is free it's a little bit hit or miss but you know you can you can get on and, and check what's going on um all the points of as i said before they've got points all over the place electric hook hookup points which have got a water tap installed as well that's all free to use so Yeah, it's a great, it's a great little site. It really is. The owners have really done it justice. So, if you're thinking about heading anywhere, 
this place would be a big tick a big tick in the box for uh, for staying here short term or long term it's very reasonable as well I can't fault the, the price of the uh, the rates here because I say everything is included you're not going to find anywhere any cheaper but yeah it's all good all good weather this week I think it's supposed to be getting up to about 23 24 degrees so that's a big plus yeah, it's a little bit chilly of an evening but you know that's to be expected this time of year they've got a lot of plans for this uh, this site um, and from what I can gather from talking to with uh, with Martin yesterday as you come in the main entrance as I say if you go straight on that takes you up to Obi and Anita's house turn right and that takes you actually into the park itself and then to the left there's like a field and I do believe that's going to be a static camping area so um, yeah it's quite a big quite a big place there's the house up there So you come down this little track road. It's not not far off of the main road. There's two ways of getting into it. Obviously, it was dark when we first arrived, and I just <laughs> I drove past it, not realising that the uh, the turn off was there. spectacular scenery it really is that's the uh, that takes you up to a little village and I do believe it's the back back road into uh, the little town There's the house. This is the road that comes off of the main road and it brings you down to the park itself. So far it's mainly um, Brits here. Uh, there is a, there was a Belgian couple, there's a couple of French motorhomes, <clears throat> but at the moment it's, uh, it's majority British. But hey, it doesn't matter. Everyone gets on so well together. It's great. It's great having a different um, cultures and stuff, meeting the different people. 
from what I can gather from last Christmas, they all there was a complete mixture of um, of people, countries, Dutch, German, French, Belgium, um, English, and what they did, they had a a Christmas dinner comprising of everybody's national foods. Every person brought their own food to the table. Uh, the, one of the owners, Obi, he's from Texas, uh, and he he done some fantastic smoked turkey legs or something like that. Um, one of the Thanksgiving dinners, dinners that they make, and that was supposed to be really really nice. But yeah, all in all, terrific. So if you're stuck anywhere and you want somewhere to go, head over here, head over here, it is really good, you won't regret it at all, so, looks like we're going to be here till the end of January, February, the MOT is due in February, so we have to go back, depending on what happens. Right, yeah. yeah. well, I love you and leave you there, but, Sunshine Park in the Algarve, Lule. Bye.